joining me tonight on the show, we have a very special guest, Mr. Brent Beeler. Welcome to the show, Brent. Good evening, Brian. Thank you. All righty. Yes, uh, we've got some tickets to give away a little bit later in the show. We're going to be doing, doing a draw. We've asked for some callers. And you know what? Why don't we start this off? Because I believe there is a caller on the phone. Caller, are you there? I am. Hello. Hi. Who's this? My name is Sook. Hey. Nice to have you on the show with us. Thank you. So you're uh, you're phoning in uh, about the Brandon Woofy show. That's right. Yeah. And Brent's here is going to tell everybody that's listening about that show, aren't you? Yes, Brent and Woofie is going to be doing a show down at Tina's Diner next Sunday, and it's brunch with Santa. Yeah. So it's breakfast and lunch Whoa. thrown together. Yeah, that I, kid's going to be on there with you. I think he's ready to talk. So who's, who's going to talk to us on the phone here? We have two kids. We have Harish and Asaya. All right. Who's going to go on first? Harish, here you go. You want to say hi? Hi. Hi, Harish. How are you? Good. And how old are you? Three. Three? Yeah. And have, are you all excited about seeing Santa? Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? We're going to put your name in the draw box, and you just yeah. might win some free tickets. Seven, five, four, three, six, six, eight. Okay. Well, I'm just going to put Sook's name in there, and we draw it out, and, yeah. and she just might win. You never know. Have you been a good boy this year? Yeah. All right. Put your brother on the phone for us. Sister Mo. Hi. Hi. Hi, sweetie. What's your, what's your name? My, my name is Brent, and that guy's name is... And my name is Brian. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they've been waiting all day for this. <laughs> You're on the radio. Did you know that? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Have you seen Santa yet this year? Did you see Santa? Did you see Santa? I see Santa. Did you ask for something cool? Yeah. What did you ask for? Presents. Oh, and are you going to get presents? Yes. Uh, have you been a good girl? You, you're a good girl? Yes. Santa. Oh, fantastic. Give me, a, give me a present, too. Well, I think if you're good, everybody gets a present. Brian, you get a present this year, don't you? I hope so. Have you been good? Yep. When? Uh, e ever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for calling in, kids. This is really neat to have you phone us and talk to us on the on the radio. Thank you very much. Okay, Suk, your name's going to go in the draw box, and we'll be making the draw at 8 p.m., so make sure you're listening, okay? Great. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Right. Thanks for phoning. Thanks, bye-bye. Yeah, so if any others out there have uh, little kids, I'd say that this is a great show up to the, in the 10, 11 range. We do have another caller, so why don't we just, uh, we'll see who this is. You're on the air, caller. Hi, this is Deanna. I'm just calling for James. <laughs> well, you know what, Deanna? You could win tickets to see Brent and Woofy if you wanted to. Okay. Have you ever phoned the station before? No, I haven't. Oh, uh, James isn't in here. He's usually here during the day. No, no, no. I'm calling for James. Like, he's going to talk to Brent. <laughs> oh, because oh, there's a guy named James in here who runs the station. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> no, I just, all of a sudden you caught me off guard. I didn't know I'd be right on the phone. <laughs> oh, yes. We're going to okay. just catch everybody off. You phone tonight, you're going right on the air. Okay. <laughs> so, how old is James? He's five. Did Brent and Woofy do his birthday party? Yes, he did. How long ago? When he was one. Yeah, when he, and does he remember? Oh, when he was two. Uh, he he was, was two. And does he remember Brent and Wolfie's birthday show? No. I think he does. Yes. He does. <laughs> mm -hmm. He does. All right. Well, Sounds like mom does. And what's his, what he, his name again? James. I'm going to let him just say hi to you quick. Yes, please. Okay. She's, he's three years old. Hi. Hey, James. How are you doing? Good. How old are you now? You're five? Yes. Oh, he's right, five right. years old. He's aged two years in that much time. Yeah. This is Brent, James. This is Brent from Brent and Wolfie. How are you doing tonight? Do you know who Woofy is? What? Do you know who Woofy is? No. Nope. No, you're not sure who Woofy is? You know what? He's a pretty funny dog. Like, let's bring Woofy in and he'll talk to you. Here he comes. Hey, Woofy. <laughs> How you doing, James? I came to your birthday party. <laughs> Have you seen Santa yet? <laughs> James is a fairly uh, quiet type, I think. Oh, you saw Santa. I know you did. Have you been a good dog? Oh, yeah. <laughs> What'd you ask for? Oh, sweaters. You want doggy sweaters? Six of them. <laughs> Hello, James. I think James has uh, said all he has to say. Bye. Bye. Bye, -bye. Uh, put your mom back Bye. on the phone. Bye. Okay, Deanna, we'll get your phone number off the air, and we'll definitely put you in the draw box for oh. 8 o'clock drawing, okay? Okay, thanks. Brent. Thanks, Deanna. Brand will be right with you here. Okay. 
All right, we're starting off with uh, let's let's get uh, this show rolling here. We got uh, taken uh, off of uh, a CD by Brenton Woofy. It's Christmas time, and let's do the title cut. I think we played that before in this show. I'm pretty sure we have. Here you go. This is Songwriter Circle here on a weird kind of Sunday evening. Here and there, a shiny star that goes on top, and a touch of angel hair. Some presents that go underneath, there's one for you and me. Let's add some pretty ornaments to our Christmas tree. There's a jolly guy in a big red suit, his beard is snowy white. His hat is red like Rudolph's nose, and his boots as dark as night. His name is Claus, and what he does is slide down chimneys To leave you presents and fill your stockings all on Christmas Eve It's Christmas time, it's Christmas time, it's Christmas everywhere Christmas time, it's Christmas time, Christmas fills the air So now it's time to go to sleep while Santa makes his rounds Jump into bed and turn off the light and lay your body down. The sooner you sleep, the sooner you'll wake to see your big surprise. It's under the tree, just as big as life, and it's right before your eyes. It's Christmas time, it's Christmas time, it's Christmas everywhere. Christmas time, it's Christmas time, Christmas fills the air. It's Christmas day, you get to play. All your cool new toys Mums and dads and Santa Claus Loves all you girls and boys It's dinner time so let's go eat Cause mum's been cooking all day There's turkey and cranberries Taters and gravy Oh what a way to say It's Christmas time It's Christmas time It's Christmas everywhere Christmas time It's Christmas time Christmas fills the air It's Christmas time It's Christmas time everybody. Ah, yes. A great time of year to say ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, Merry Christmas. <laughs> yes, here we are in Songwriter Circle, a special edition, the last edition, the last edition of Sunday night, and uh, we're kicking it off with a giveaway to a uh, brunch with Santa with Brent and Wolfie. Ho, ho, ho. We've got another caller on the air. Caller, are you there? Yes, we are. Hello, Laura. Hello. Are you ready to put Taylor? Is it Taylor or Tyler? It's Tyler. Tyler. You ready? Tyler's ready to talk. All, All right. right. Put him on the air. Hello, Tyler. Hi. How are you tonight? Good. How old are you now? Five. Five years old. Are you excited about Christmas? Yeah. Have you been a good boy? Yeah. Oh, yes. Do you remember when Brent and Woofie came and played at your birthday party? Yeah. And did you laugh? Yes. Yeah. And do you think that Woofie's a funny character? Yeah. What is so funny about Woofy? What did he do when he's trying to get back in the suitcase? What did he do? He has big ears. Yeah, I know. So Santa Claus, did you see Santa Claus yet? You know what? I did. I have a good idea. Would you like to say hi to Woofy? Yeah. Okay, I'll just get him. Here he comes. Oh, hi, who's that? Hi, yeah. Who, who am I speaking to? That's t- Tyler. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> this is Wolfie the dog. <laughs> Can you say Merry Christmas with me? Will you say Merry Christmas with, with Wolfie? I'll count to three and then say Merry Christmas together. Are you ready? One, two, three. Merry, Merry Christmas. <laughs> I like that guy. Yeah, you were at his birthday party. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Okay, you know what I'm going to let you do, Tyler? What? I'm going to let you say Merry Christmas, and then we're going to put your name in the draw box, and you just might win some tickets, okay? I'm going to count to three, and you say Merry Christmas. One, two, three. Merry Christmas. Thank you for phoning. All right. I just love that kind of stuff. <laughs> All right. Thank you for phoning in. Yes, nothing like having some Christmas. It's Christmas time on Songwriter Circle. <laughs> I love Christmas. Yes, it is. 
it is the holiday of holidays. It's my favorite time of year. Uh, Brian, do you mind if I read an internet uh, entry that we have? I think we should make sure that everybody knows what we're talking about first. Of course. We are uh, doing a draw tonight for two tickets to the Brent and Woofy Brunch with Santa at Tina's Diner, December the 10th at noon. And if you'd like to enter, you can just uh, pick up the phone and call us right now. What's the number, Brian? It's 740-1017. Uh, yes, give us a call and we'll put you in the draw. Um, I've got a few entries here from the internet. One came in from Pam, and Pam's uh, grandson, Logan, I- I've asked them to, to just give us a comment as to why they entered the contest. And Logan says he entered the contest because, quote, I like them. And I like to play their games. <laughs> we have internet games up there on the old website at yes. bbshows.ca. So, uh, Logan, good luck. You're going to be in the draw box there. Um, here's another one from Pia. Pia has entered on behalf of a young person named Kayleen. Now, what Kayleen said, what uh, her favorite Brent and Woofy song is, is Woofy the Red-Nosed Rain Dog. And she likes it because it's funny. (laughs) Woofy is a funny little rain dog. So you also are going to be into the draw box as well. It's getting pretty big, eh, Brian? Yes, there's uh, there's a few entries in there, so, you know, but uh, there's still better chances than winning the lottery, eh? That's true. That's true. I looked it up um, the other day. Your chances of winning the lottery are one and two and a half billion. (laughs) <laughs> That's not million, folks. That's billion with a buzz. So I better. I guess I should like get off the kick of where that's going to be my retirement. That's right. Yeah. Well, if you want to retire one in two and a half billion, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, it's going to be a, a lot of fun over at Tina's, and and she's going to feed us. Ah, it's included it, in the meal. The meal. Yeah. yeah. We've got a kind of a special show going tonight. Here we're giving away two tickets to. Uh, Brunch with Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Featuring Brent and Woofy, and I do believe we have another caller on the phone. Caller, are you there? Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh, how Hello, are you Joyce. Doing? Hi. Hi, thank you so much for calling in. I understand that Donovan is standing by, ready to uh, yes. talk to us. All right, let's put He's him on. Right here. Hi. Hello, Donovan. How are you doing, young man? Good. And your age is? Eight. Eight years old. And did Brent and Woofy come to your birthday party? Yes. All right. So do you remember Woofy? Yes. All right. So have you seen Santa yet this year? No. Uh, have you been a good boy? Yes. <laughs> ah, that what, was quick. <laughs> what, what have you been good enough to get for Christmas this year? Uh, I don't know. A present? Yeah. Yeah, what, right on. What What is the most popular present for an 8-year-old right now? What is the thing that you're asking for? Mm. Is it that new Nintendo game? No. Is it that new PlayStation game? No. Parts of the Caribbean. Oh, oh yes. Cool. Arr, matey. So you're a bit of a swashbuckler, are you, lad? Mm-hmm. That's good. Well, you know what, Donovan? We're going to put your name in our draw box, and I wish you good luck. It's a random draw, and if your name comes out, you and Joyce are going to get free tickets to Brent and Wolfie's yeah. Brunch with Sam. That draw is going to be in about 30 minutes from now. Woo-hoo. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for phoning, young man. All right. Thank you very much. So I'm, I've just got a question for Wolfie here now. Yes, uh, um, uh, Wolfie. Wolfie, how many sleeps till Christmas? How many sleeps till Christmas? We'll see you uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, blah, blah, blah. 22. There's 22 sleeps till Christmas. <laughs> and you know what happens on Christmas Eve? What? This big, jolly guy gets up on the roof, and he slides down the chimbley, and he comes, what, what? He slides down the chimbley. The what? The chimbley. What's a chimbley? No, 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 the chimney. He comes down the chimney, and he brings presents into the house. Oh, you like that? Did you ask him for something good? Oh, he did. And we're going to play the song off our CD about when Santa comes down the chimney. Oh, I like it. It's a good song. <laughs> Let's play it, Brian. <laughs> All righty. This is Santa Comes Down the Chimney with Brent and Woofie and Brian here on Songwriter Circle. Small. 
down the chimney yes with brent and wolfie here on songwriter circle special it's gonna be christmas pretty soon <laughs> hey we've got uh, we've got another caller on the phone caller are you there yes all right it's caller what's your name sweetheart amy and have you been a good girl this year yes where are you <laughs> calling from i'm calling from Kelowna, bc Kelowna, bc and yeah. do you know brent and wolfie I do, because I'm related to Brent. You're related to Brent. How yes. are you related to Brent? I'm his niece. Oh, you, oh I, yes, this is Amy from Kelowna. She's one of my bestest friends in the whole world. Aw, hmm. thanks. Have, thanks. You, have you been a good girl this year? Yes, I have. Did you see Santa yet? Um, I've seen him in the mall. I work in the mall, so I see him periodically. Did you ask him for something special? Um, not really. What do you want for Christmas? Um. Oh, I put I don't her. Know. I put her on the spot. You're supposed to say peace, <laughs> <laughs> peace and love and joy. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it, it, and that's a that's also a nice thing when you have to think about what do I need for Christmas. Yeah. You got a pretty good life when you don't have when it when it doesn't come. <laughs> yeah, it, it would take me a while to figure something out. <laughs> so if we put your name in the draw box and you win, can you come all the way down here? For yeah, why not? Members of the family are not allowed to enter. No, oh, that's that's not on CHLY. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's a for sure. Members of the CHLY family must enter. Oh, must enter. <laughs> yes. I see. Oh, that's good. Well, you know what? Thank you so much for calling, Amy. It's wonderful to talk to no you. Is it, oh, I was just going to ask you if it's snowing up there in Kelowna. Um, it isn't, but we do have snow on the ground. You still, hey? Is it cold? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do you know what it's doing here? Raining. Ew. <laughs> it's on? taking our snow away. Yeah, raining on <laughs> our snow. So, <laughs> which is a good thing because we don't need it. No, not anymore. We're <laughs> done. We had our little taste. That's enough. Yeah, we're going back to nice balmy weather here in Nanaimo. Yes, it's. Right. I'm. I like the the green Christmas thing. Yeah, yeah works for sure. me. All, All right, right, you guys have fun. Enjoy the show. All righty. Thanks, thanks for, for calling. Thanks for phoning, Amy. Bye. Love you, sweetheart. Okay, we got to uh, do some community update here on Songwriter Circle. Uh, coming up at eight o'clock, we will be doing the draw for the free tickets to the Brent and Wolfie Santa Claus brunch. So. We uh going to get back to uh, talking with Brent and Wolfie. Hey, Brent and Wolfie. Hi, Brian. I think we have another caller on the air, so should we see if they're there? We put them straight on the air. Are you there, caller? I am, but I'm hoping I can make a request. Well, sure, that's I, the... I'd like, I like to hear Under a Star, if I could. Oh, well, I'm sure we could find that. Uh, that's by that... Uh... Brent and Wolfie. Oh, yes, isn't it? Who's calling? Yeah. It's Doug. I heard it at the uh, at Brent and Whoopi's birthday party. All right. Whoopi's birthday. Under Thank star. You. you betcha. Thanks for calling in, Doug. Bye. All right. Well, Brian, while you're looking that up, do you mind if I read a couple I more? I think you should tell people about that stuff oh. there, what you're mm. uh, going to be reading and talking about. Well, a, we've got a couple of more entries for the Brunch with Santa by Brent and Whoopi on December the 10th at Tina's Diner downtown. Uh, you can get your tickets at Tina's Diner downtown on Commercial Street, or you can go to my website, which is bbshows.ca, bbshows.ca for more information. We had some people email us some entries, and here's one from Catalina, and she's entered on behalf of Isabel. Isabel is four years old. You mean Kalinda? Kalinda, what did I say? Catalina? I'm sorry, Kalinda. <laughs> it's these new glasses. I can't see anything thought, with them. I, I thought all of a sudden Brent had been drinking. <laughs> Brent, that would be a first. Yeah, too many eggnogs. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh, Isabel has given us a few comments on why she wants to come to the Brent and Wiffy show, and she says, because I love him, 
And I made up a song for him, and it's about Rudolph and how he broke his sleigh. And I want to touch Santa's <laughs> beard. So we'll put you in the draw box, uh, Isabel, and good luck with that. And one more. Here's a lady that uh, some of you might know out there. Her name is Ellie. Mm, Do you know sounds Ellie? Sounds familiar. Sounds familiar. I think we all know Ellie. Ellie Ms. Parker has Ms. a Parker. couple. Parker. She has a couple of grandkids that uh, is uh, putting her name in the box there, and perhaps she might win those tickets too. Hi, Ellie. Hey, How yeah, and that going? draw is going to come up in about 15 or 17 minutes, yeah. too. So it's coming up quick. If you'd like to give us a call at 740-1017, you can get your name in the draw. If you got a kid that would just love to see Santa, well, let's get to that request. Somebody wanted under a star, didn't they? Yes, thank you, Doug. I think Doug mentioned that he was at the uh, birthday party. We had a 10-year celebration three years ago. I remember and, that. Oh, it was a lot of fun. We raised a ton of food for the uh, food bank. It was a great time. Wiffy is... Uh, you should have, an, like, another 10-year one next year. I, 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 nope, doesn't work out, Brian. <laughs> hey, 10 years will come soon enough. Wiffy is now, uh, next year, going to be 14 years old. He's looking like it, too. <laughs> he's, he's looking like he had a few dog years. <laughs> dog years, yeah. Well, 14 times 7 is lots. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's get to some more music here. This is Under a Star from the Under a Star CD with uh, Brent and Wolfie. And uh, you're listening to Songwriter Circle here on CHLY.
requested Under a Star from Brenton Woofy. And we have Alana phoning in from Calgary. How are you doing, Alana? I'm doing just fine. Hi, Alana. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. What is the weather in Calgary? It's a beautiful, Minus 10. I'll have to phone my mom and tell her to put on an extra cover or something tonight. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Is there snow in the forecast out there? I really don't know. It's probably too cold right now. So how do you know Woofy, Alana? Um, I've known Woofy for a very long time. Longer than... Uh, Since he had smooth fur. <laughs> <laughs> we should tell the listeners that this is a, my other bestest friend in the world, Alana, my cousin from Calgary, Alberta. Now, Brian knows about Calgary, Alberta. I grew up there. Did you? You, you? I, I, you know what? I Well, I, I did some growing up there. You guys <laughs> you guys are about the same age, so you must know each other. Oh, well, for sure, because, well, uh, you know, there's, there's hardly anybody in yeah. Calgary. You, do you know Brian from Calgary, Alana? Well, what part of town? I, I grew up in Fairview. Fairview? Yeah, down southeast. Uh, went to school at Fairview High and Lord Beaverbrook and Henry Wisewood. And... Oh, okay. I, I'm a forest lawner. Ah. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. You know what we say about people from Forest Lawn in Calgary? They're a lot like Brent. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I hope it doesn't snow on you tonight because you've probably got enough of that for the season, but it does make Christmas all Christmassy, doesn't it? Yeah. So do you want me to put your name in the draw box and you can fly out for the show this week, next weekend? Oh, sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who will you bring? Sparky? <laughs> I'll bring Sparky, Spark- my puppy. Sparky's a little dog. Oh, Pro- oh, oh, oh. Oh, that sounds like it'll be fun on the plane. <laughs> they, no, I'll come sit on Santa's lap and I'll flatten him. <laughs> <laughs> we'll warn him. Thank you so much for calling all the way from Calgary, Alana. You're the farthest person away who's called so far tonight. Well, you're very welcome. Oh. Yeah, say hi to all those other people in Calgary that we know. <laughs> well, I will. All right. Okay. All right, thank you for calling, Alana. <laughs> uh, all the way from Calgary. Yes, and all those other people that we know, right? Yeah, so um, we should we should mention that the show this next weekend at Tina's Diner yes is strictly Christmas flavored. Yes, it's all we Christmas have music, Christmas songs. We have a dancing snowman. Wow, that's a surprise. Um, you know what color a snowman is in Nanaimo? Green, clear. clear. <laughs> yeah. Tina's and wearing her saran wrap. We, <laughs> we have. We also have an illusion that I do at the end of the show where we take paper cut up into bite-sized pieces, and we put it in a glass, and we turn it into candy canes. And it's Ooh. just an amazing trick. And then Santa comes out, and all the kids get to tell, tell Santa what they want for Christmas. Wow, that's going to be quite the performance, that's I fun. think. In that, uh, and you get grub, too. Oh, yeah, you get fed, too. And Tina feeds you. This this isn't a little tiny bit of food. She feeds you so you're full, and yes. it's good food. Yes, yeah. I, I, I eat there quite regularly. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> So right. I was going to ask you if you have your Christmas tree up yet. You know what? I've been starting to dig it out. But it's it's like, you know, it goes uh, in behind a whole bunch of stuff. And actually under the stairs, there's a special compartment for the Christmas stuff. You're but we've gro- got to empty all the stuff out so we can get at it. You're growing your Christmas tree in your basement? Yes. My goodness. <laughs> we have some special hyd- hydroponic facilities for growing my Christmas tree. We have one Christmas tra- tradition that we've had going on in our family ever since the kids came into my life. Oh. And we jump in the car and we drive up to the mountains and we go up to a place called Gogo's Tree Farm. And they have thousands of trees up there. And you get a saw and you wander through the trees till you find the perfect tree. It's and an you, Anaimo tradition. That's right. And you cut it down. <laughs> And you strap it to the roof of the car and you bring it home. And the beauty of this is you have that beautiful pine smell through your house for the whole Christmas season. And I, Especially if it's a pine tree you cut down. I believe that Christmas has to do with smells. I'm going to tell you a quick story about this too. How traditions are born and how they're kept. One year, my son was about nine years old. And we had started a Christmas tradition where we cooked pizzas on Christmas Eve, homemade pizzas. Mm -hmm. You get the dough, you get everything. So everybody can cook their own pizza, and you can put on it what you want. And the good thing is the next morning there's something to eat. You don't have to cook a big breakfast while they're ripping into the presents and stuff like that. So we'd been doing it for about three or four years. And one Christmas Eve, he was about 10 years old maybe, he comes around the corner and he goes, 
boy, Dad, it sure is starting to smell like Christmas in here. <laughs> so to him, pizza was Christmas. Anyways, I wrote this song about going up to Gogo's farm and cutting down the tree. It's a wonderful thing for a whole family. Yes, there's a lot of people in town I know that do this. Yeah, going up to Gogo's farm, getting yes. a Christmas tree. And you get a free Christmas tree, don't you? Certainly. Yes, and, sure and it's, that's because it's a good song. Yes. Here we go. Here's some homegrown, homegrown Christmas tree music here on Songwriter Circle. And jump in the car We're going for a drive And it's not very far We're going to get us a Christmas tree At Gogo's Farm We'll drive up the mountain To South Folks Road Just out of the Nanaimo That's where we'll go We're going to get us a Christmas tree At Gogo's Farm The girls tall one short one fat one straight Thousands of trees on the hills at Gobo's Farm. We'll wander through the trees till we find the right one. And then we'll cut it down, it'll be so much fun. We gotta get it home, so we'll strap it to the roof of the car. It's wonderful out and for family and friends. I can't wait till next year, we're gonna do it again. We got the perfect. Christmas tree from Bobo's farm. certainly do every year those little varmints yes <laughs> yeah, all those all those kids in the background there yeah i had so much fun recording with I'll those bet. guys it was just a it was just a hoot that was recorded in 1997 it seems like forever ago now doesn't it that's just a couple years ago isn't it yeah, yeah that's a couple of years is what everything feels like yes yes and then you look i was actually talking with somebody that the other day and they said oh yeah just a couple of years ago and they counted oh 10 10 years ago and yeah. everything that they <laughs> so it's like oh well, yeah just a couple oh no that was 10 you know my sons are growing up so fast they're almost getting ready to leave the nest it's kind of a strange feeling <laughs> they never leave brent that's no. what i hear well that's yeah ever well, I mean, ever ever, ever. <laughs> as long as there's food in the cupboard <laughs> well you know what i think it's time to do a draw here all right we've got a bunch of names that we put into a hat and this is for a couple of tickets to see brent and wolfie uh, perform a christmas brunch you get to see santa have some good food and uh Hang out with the Woofster. Yeah, and Tina. And Tina. Yeah. I'm sure Paul will be there, too. Oh, I'm sure. Mr. Tina. And uh, his daughter? She's yes. going to be a little elf. Ah, his Kira. daughter. Kira. 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 Oh, okay. She's going to be a little elf. Good for her. Yeah. All right, should we make the draw? Okay, I put all of the names inside the Santa hat. Yes. And the listen? fur-trimmed Santa hat. There are all the names in there, so we're just going to get Brian to reach in okay, there. Okay, here He's we go. going to do a drum roll, please. <laughs> And the winner of two tickets to Tina's Diner, Brent and Woofie, Brunch with Santa, is 
Laura. All right, yeah. Laura and Taylor, Taylor, who's five years old, have won the tickets. Congratulations, Laura and Taylor. Do 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 do. <laughs> all right. Yes, we'll get a hold of. We'll make sure that they know all about that, and uh, and I'm sure they're going to have a great time. And we want to tell anybody else that's out there listening that uh, you can get tickets for this. Where you can get them at Tina's Diner, which is downtown on Commercial Street. You can look her up on the internet at Tina's Diner. Dot com, or you can get them from Brent. That would be Brent and Woofy. You can look Brent and Woofy up on the Internet at bbshows.ca, or a simple way is just Google Brent and Woofy. Boom, there we are. Yeah, and you know what? We're just going to enjoy a little bit of homegrown Christmassy music as we contru- as we roll into the second hour of Songwriter Circle here. And I uh, want to thank you for coming in and saying, hey, Woofie, and uh, looking forward to having Woofie. a show with like, all the kids and stuff. And Woofie, wake up. <laughs> Say thank you, Brian. Oh, thank you, Brian. Thank you so much for letting us come down and be on your show. <laughs> it was mostly my pleasure. All right. Say goodbye, Woofie. Goodbye, Woofie. Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you very much, Brian. All righty. Merry Christmas, everybody. Christmas.